somebody give the Lord some praise. Lika Rosilia Mahagados, Cabrizilia Mata. We thank you, oh Jesus. We thank you, Jehovah. We thank you for this opportunity one more time to come into your house. Laka Rosilia Mataiga, Ro Brazil. Laka Tuaga, La Brandilia Macusco. Lobrosco Rosilia Macata. Laka Tuazalia Mata. We give you thanks, O oh God, for your powerful hand that is driving the ongoing growth in our lives. Gilea Matoso, Robo Salia Makata, Abandelia Makusko Lobros Gilea Mata. As individuals and as a church together, the Faith Life Church, we bring the Faith Life Church before you. We bring individuals before you. We bring every family connected to this house. Uh, from the head pastor to the least in this place. Uh, in this house connected to us. Them that are even outside this country, my God. Mazobros, Giliyama, Taiga. Rabakus, Goro, Brandeliyama, Haya. Hazanda, Haga, Brandeliyama, Kuskobo. For it is written in your word that unless the Lord builds the house, the labor in vain who builds it. Unless the Lord guides the city or watch over the city, the watchman stays awake in vain. We said we are awake in vain if it is not because of you, if it were not because of the Lord. May Israel now say, where would we have been when men are right on our back and make trenches on our back? If it were not to be the Lord, my gear, Luzo, Regata, Haziri, Makusko, Rabade, Zaya, when men make mockery of us and ask us, where is our God? If it were not to be the Lord, Hazia Makozo, Ribia Nakata, Ha Katwaz Iliamata, if it was not because of the messes that the Lord showed us, Ha Matwaz Iliya Gatozo, Robobo Ziria Taiga Brande Yaba, Hazia Nakozo, Rakata, Hazende Yagata, Abandelia Makuzo, Robobo Zianda, Labriagata, Hakwandelia Matai Gaba. Give the Lord thanks and give him the Lord thanks. Tell the Lord how grateful you are to be alive. Thank God how grateful you are. Allah. You are you are to be alive in this day. Ah, you are strong. You are strong in this 21 days. But I'm not even feeling how weak. I cannot feel any weakness in my body. Thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. I give you praise. I give you praise for every member of this house, especially for the faith life church. For the late faith life collective, uh, for the ushers, for the porters, for the protocol team, for the prayer warriors, uh, uh, for the senior pastors, uh, my God, for Pastor Ajay, the wife, the family, the children, for everyone connected to this house. Uh, uh, my God, we give you praise. For the technical team, for the trimest of oh God, for the media team, we thank you, God. We thank you for, we thank you, we thank you. For every individual, your strong hand upon us, uh, driving us, oh God, into growth. Uh, driving us, oh God, into growth. Your word that keep on coming from this altar, from the senior pastor. It's weak, my God. And by your word, you are exalted our hands. By your word, you are by your word we are great strong spiritually my god because of this we thank you it was the lord that did it it was the lord that built us up it was the lord that watched over us Robo Zilia Mata. It is the Lord that is building us up a spiritual house. Hakwanda Lia Matai Gabo Solia. Handa Lia Matai Gaba. You made us a holy priest, a holy nation. Makwa Katali Yamakada. Hazende Ribidiakato. Harandili Yamakada Lia Mata. We are here to offer once again our spiritual sacrifice. Makwa Kateli Yamate. Hey, Lia Hazan Deliamata, Haran Deliamata, 
Pandolia Materi Bidi, Arandelia Macandalia, Apandelia Matalia Gata, Andelia Macuzolia Mata, Andalia Macaria Mata, First Corinthians chapter three, verse six to seven, Apandelia Macusco, Andalia Mahala Mateza. Bandelia Matalia Mata, Andalia Maquandelia Mata, Posse, I planted Apollo's water, but God gave the increase. So they, then neither he who plants is anything nor he who waters, but it is God that gives the increase. You want to acknowledge the fact that it is God that is bringing increase in your life. You want to acknowledge the fact though God used verses, the senior pastor to move into our life, but God is responsible for the growth. You want to thank God. Uh, thank Him, thank Him, thank Him, thank Him. Thank you for His mercy. Thank Him, thank Him. Thank you for the spiritual work He's doing in our bodies, uh, in our spirit, in our soul. Thank God for that strong hand that is driving you into grove. Italia. Apollos is the one that planted but another waters but it is God responsible for the increase thank God for the increase thank God for the abundance increase thank God for the spiritual growth thank God that you are growing daily you are growing daily you are growing weekly you are growing in the spirit mentally you are growing the most important thing that growth is taking place uh, the anger issue you had before is no more an issue uh, that last issue is gone uh, that bitterness is gone uh, positively there's growth in your life thank god thank you oh god that the shakers are falling uh, uh, the yokes around my neck is destroyed i uh, thank you my god the burden have been lifted my life I thank you, my God. Baliya makosa, ale briaga tai zaliya mako, azeliya mato zaliya kata, habra zetelia, haribite kata ya, hariya mate garanze ya. First Peter chapter five verse six, ale karo zaliya mata. So be humble under God's powerful hand. Then he will lift you up when the right time comes. You want to thank God for the powerful hand of God upon your life because God definitely is lifting you up. Thank God for the lifting. Thank God for the mighty powerful hand of God. Ah, Makwazeliya Makaza. He will exalt you. He will increase you. He will lift you up. God is lifting you up. God is in the business of increasing. He's in the business of exalting you up. He's in the business of building you up. Thank God that you are being built. A spiritual house. Akwaza Teribideka. A robo sanda, a rebellion a taiga ba, a robalia a taiga ta. See how pure your thoughts are now. See how pure your heart is. Definitely, the Lord is working through His Word by His Spirit in your life. Give Him praise. A kwa zakiteli a mata. Lobo saka, a ribidi a maha, a randeli a makozo, a randeli a mahaka. Pray and thank the Lord God for the blessings of life, health, protection, provision. Let's thank him for everyday miracles and blessing he continues to bestow on us. Hallelujah. I think there's a songwriter that says count your blessing. Child of God, if you just want to count what God has done for you even this week alone, this week that have just begun from yesterday, Sunday to today 
there's something you have to be grateful for. Hallelujah. There's something you have to be grateful for. You wake up this morning, you were strong. Amen. Somebody has been rushed to the hospital. You wake up today, you've drank water, right? Somebody is struggling to drink water. It will not even go. Hallelujah. They have done surgery on somebody and they're only waiting for the person to, 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 to flat. And it is not coming. Thank God you have done it several times. And you were excusing people around you. Hallelujah. He said, said, let's thank God for his blessing. Thank God. Lift your hands. Thank God for his blessing. Thank God for good health. Thank him. Tell him specifically, I am strong. You have strengthened me. I am not sick. There is nothing that is showing that I am sick. I am healthy. I am strong. Oh, you have blessed my family. My children are strong. I see them go and come each day. There's no evil report in my home. I thank you. Thank God. Thank God for the everyday miracles. You want to thank God for the everyday miracles. Ah, for the continual blessing that God continually bestow upon your life. Even tonight, as you go home, He's going to still bestow on your life and give you good rest and good rest of, of sleep. Gatoza. Harebete. Garozo. Brikata. Psalm 68 verse 19. Habo salia gata. Habo lia gata. Brandelia mako. Blessed be the Lord who daily loves us with daily benefit. Katosa, araba pa zeliyama kaba, azande li karosa ba, andali yama kanda libitega. The blessings of life, the blessing of good health, the blessing of good sight, the blessing that I can smell. Mazwa kateli yama ta. Even the blessing that when I eat, I can taste the food. Aboza li kata. The blessing I can see with my eyes. I, I am not blind. I can even hear. My God, I am not deaf. I am not even dumb. I can speak. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. Like a rose, aliyemata. These are daily benefit. Ha, karos, aliyemata. People wake up and suddenly they have lost sight. They have lost their vision. They can't see. Ah, my God, not your people. For God is your salvation. The word salvation means miracle. It means strength. It means good health. It means daily provision. Thank big to God who daily lost us with benefit as only benefit of good health, good eyesight, good strength in the knee. Uh, all the joints, all your joints are perfectly working. All your kidney, your heart, all your, 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 your major organs, all of them are functioning properly. Thank God for your heart. I thank you for my liver, my kidney, my pancreas. I thank God for my ears, my brains. I thank God. My God for my spinal cord. I thank you for the hair, even on my head, my toes, my nails. My God, I thank God for my tongue. The psalmist says in 116, verse 12, is that what shall I render to the Lord for all his benefit towards me? 
the psalmist said, what will you render to the Lord? You can only render thanksgiving and praise. You can only render gratefulness. Render it, tell him, give him praise. Give the Lord glory. In Job chapter 36 verse 28, the rain pours down from the clouds and everyone benefits. Remember the scripture says that he gives rain and sunlight both unto the wicked and unto the righteous. My God, he give both sunlight and rain. He bestow on us rain from heaven. He bestow on us light from heaven. Thank God for the rays of the sun. Thank God for the dew on your life. Thank God for the rain that falls. Thank God, thank God. Tell him I thank you. My God, we thank you. We thank you for all these benefits. We thank you, oh God. We are not worthy of the list of all these benefits. You found us worthy. We thank you, Jesus. Harozu Karabade Harandali Agata. In Psalm 13, verse 6. I do sing to Jehovah for he had conferred benefit upon me. He said, I will sing unto God because God has conferred that word. It means that it, uh, you qualify for it. He places it on you whether you like it or not. My God has in the Ligarola Hazaka Likozo. Isaiah chapter 41, verse 13 to 14. For I am the Lord your God, who take hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Say, The Lord is my help. Say, Because of that, I will not fear. I will not fear. David said, Though I walk through the valley of the shadows of death, I fear no evil. Say, Evil shall be far for my dwelling say it shall be far from my dwelling in the mighty name of Jesus he said do not be afraid for I myself will help you declares the Lord God said don't be afraid because he himself is here to help you say God thank you for helping me oh say God thank you for helping me thank you for helping me oh, thank you for helping me he said, the Redeemer and the Holy One of Israel, He's here to help you. Makwa, Hazen Deli Makozo, Robobo Zili Maka, Antalia Katai Gata, Tell the Lord you have held my hand. He said, I will hold you by your right hand. Stretch your right hand to the Lord. Stretch your right hand. Your right hand, stretch it to Him. That you are whole, you have held me by my right hand. Because of that, I will fear no evil. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. I will fear no evil. Kata. He said, I will fear no evil. Katuza. Arebeteka. Manzo. Karandeya. Arebeteka. Rumahaya. Makwantalia, you are praying and asking God for strength as you go through every month in this year. Uh, the month of January, February, the month of March, April, the month of May, June, and July, August, the month of September, the month of September, September, October, November, and December until December 31st. Ah, uh, uh, we give you thanks uh, that we fear no evil because you have held us. By your right hand, Hazoka Ribante, Halokata, Hazende Ribidiakata. No matter the challenges that the enemy will throw to us, no matter the challenges, even in our workplace, in our families, in the corporate world, in the marketplace, because you've heard our right hand, we fear nothing. For the Lord Himself has become my help. Mazoka, Hazeribideka, Harobobo Ziriamata, Hare. 
declare into your mouth the member of your birth declare into that member if you were born in February declare in February you are favorable unto me ah, in March ah, you are good unto me in May God will show me kindness ah. in April God will show me his goodness ah. in June God will oh, show me his might ah. as the fortress ah. I declare into July ah, you see God make all things abound towards you a robust kadiyamata a record wonder haya ha in agas you will sort your horn ha in 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 agas ha katwa in september you will ride on your the wicked they'll be under your feet and dalia katai kata a robobo siliema tiger in october you sit on the head of your enemies for bible says that you sit in the heavenly places in christ jesus for all things were made by him and for him and without him was not nothing made no form you are above only and never beneath aqua zetelia makanda azondolia mataigata in november you will fill your mouth with all good things in december you will give him thanks arobobo zilia mata Matthew chapter 21 verse 21 to 22 Jesus answered them truly I tell you if you have faith and do not doubt you will not only do what was done to the fig tree but even you will tell this mountain be lifted up and be thrown into the sea and it will be done and if you believe you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer he said whatever you ask for it means that there is an action. There is what? You have to ask. You have to seek it. You have to knock. You have to push. Hallelujah. Say, I believe it. Say, I believe it. Mountains are moving before me. Say, I believe it. The valleys are being filled in the name of Jesus. Say, I believe it. Say, the crooked roads have been straightened. Say, I believe it. The rough places have been smoothing. Say, I believe it. They have gathered around me, but I see them scatter because God is with me. Say, I believe it. They have taken a word, a cancer against the righteous, but it will not stand because God is with me. Say, I believe it. I speak to my mountains. Say, so tonight, you mountains move. Say, so move. Say move every mountain in any way, whatever I challenge a problem, you are mountain. Move out of my path. Now I command you. Say I command you. I rebuke you. Right now, loose and go. Loose and go. That yoke out now. Go right now. I feel a powerful anointing here. I feel power in this place. Right? Alebrosco, Raka, Hazenderia Maka, Arobobo, Siria Mata. Speak to that mountain, speak to that mountain, speak to that situation. I see it with her. I see it with her. It shall wither before you. Makwa Zake, Araba Tiger, Adolia Mata. A robobo zalima ha, a rakat one de lebede, a labriaca taiga, a san de lebede ka, a lobriaca taiga ba, a robobo saliamata, a san de lebede ziamaha. In Second Corinthians chapter four, verse thirteen and fourteen, it says, "Since we have the same spirit of faith." Since we have this hope, since we, both of us, have the same spirit of faith, in keeping with what is written, it means that it has been written, the promises, the oracles of God, the word of God, the statutes, the law, the commandments that have been written concerning your life. You see, I believe, therefore I speak. Say, I speak. Say, I believe it. That everything the scriptures send concerning my life Say, I believe it. I invoke it on my life that I cannot die. Believe. Oh, say, I will not die. Oh, say, I will not die. Say, I speak it. Say, I speak it. Say, I speak it. I speak it. I believe it. 
in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus lay hand on yourself say I believe it I believe it that I am strong I believe it I will not be sick I believe it that I will live healthy I believe it I am anointed of the Lord speak to your life speak to yourself it's, I believe it because it is written I believe it therefore I speak it Hazoka, a robabo ziliamata, a naha, a rebete garanda hayagada. Remember, the Bible said that God is not a man to change his mind or to repent. Is there, has he not said it and will he not do it? Have he not spoken it, will he not make it good? That word making it good means that he will fulfill it. So I see a fulfillment in my life. I have spoken. I see a fulfillment in my life. I proclaim, I decree, I declare on my life a fulfillment of God's word. I move forward. I possess my possession in the name of Jesus. Everywhere I go, I possess the goodness of the Lord. I possess the things the scriptures have declared concerning me in the name of Jesus. Open door. I possess the open door. I possess that financial breakthrough. I possess that meta and that marita breakthrough. I possess it. I possess it. I possess peace in my home. I possess kindness. I possess the goodness of God upon my life. Do you believe it? Pray for young couples that you know and ask God for strength to endure the difficult times. There is always to face or will have to navigate in cleaving to each, cleaving to each other at the beginning of their marriages. We are going to be praying for all marriages in this house. Hallelujah. A lot of time people put all in that one day go to borrow so much money and the first day they are indebted. Hallelujah. Give me the money. Somebody come knocking on your door. <laughs> you tell your wife, be quiet. We are not at home. You are in debt. Say, I will not put that pressure on myself. Say, that pressure is not for me. Hallelujah. So we pray for all marriages that God will sustain them. We pray for all marriages, especially all young couples in this house. We pray for them. Every difficult situation, any form of challenge they are going through, the silent cries in any home. Tonight, we address it by the word of the Lord. We declare a change. Peace in those homes. Peace in those homes. Declare peace in those homes. Declare peace over those storms. We command every storm in any couple's house. We command storms in any marriage. In this house, the faith life church and all that are connected to the faith life. Robo Saliamakada, a Rebecca. If it be a wisdom problem, Father God, give those couples wisdom. If it be a communication problem, give them God. Let peace reign and let communication flow. Let understanding come. My God, Holy God, you know the issues in all those families. We present them in your altar. Tonight, we ask that prevail. We ask that intervene. Intervene in every marriage. Going through any issue. Intervene in every home. Even their children. Intervene in their finances. Intervene in every area. 
my God, none shall be buried among us. Ah, there was none fever among them, oh God. Ah, katole yamata, areketele yamakata. We command bodies be healed. We command wounds. Ah, wounds, wounds, wounds. They seed. Ah, kwata. We command the marriage bears receive strength. How we command every marriage home, every couple, Firstly, one challenge for another. Let peace reign. Let wisdom come to them, Lord. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 23 and 24. Is it let us hold on to the Confession of our hope without wavering, since he that promised is faithful. He that promised is what? Is faithful. And let us consider one another to, in order to provoke unto good works. Hallelujah. He said, Let us consider one another. It means that when I see you, I envy you. But this envy is a holy envy. So I am provoked to do better. And honestly, anytime you lead prayer, I, am, I envy you. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Anytime she's leading prayer, I say, wow. I say, wow. I say, this is, a, this is an open Bible. So I call her pastor's wife. Hallelujah. I mean, I mean so, so that's what is supposed to be happening in the house of God. So somebody's doing something, you envy the person, say, I want to be like that person. You are provoking yourself, yourself into what? Good works. Say, I'm provoking myself into good works. He said, let us hold this confession. Hallelujah. He said, let us hold this confession of our hope, not wavering. Since he that promised us is faithful. Ha, ha, I said, God is faithful. Tell somebody, God is faithful. Say, my God, not your God. I said, my God, he's faithful. None of his word will fall on the ground. Without being for fear, it shall not return unto him void. Every word shall be fulfilled. Every word. Any young couple going through challenges, couples in the church going through one problem or another, say tonight, say tonight, if it be a wisdom problem, we solve it. If it be a financial problem, we solve it. If it be any other kind of problem in the home, the angel of God, solve it. Say it is solved. Say it is solved. Say it is solved. In the name of Jesus. Say I receive a quickening of many gifts. I receive the gifts of God. I receive the gifts of prayer. I receive the gifts of singing. I receive the gifts of good works. Or the gifts of kindness. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. In Ephesians chapter 4 verse 2. 3 and 13, he said, with humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace, the bond of peace, until we all reach unity in the faith, in the knowledge of God's son, growing in maturity and stature, measure by Christ's fullness. I think the King James says that will grow in the full King James said what? That will grow in the full structure of Christ. Hallelujah. Say, Lord, make me humble. Say, make me humble. Give me patience. Once you're asking God that you want patience, then somebody's going to be provoking you to test your patience. Right? Say, give me patience. Give me humility. Give me gentleness. Let me love people in the church making the effort to keep the unity of the spirit in the bone of the spirit. So we keep the unity. There shall not be any division among us. There shall not be any division in this church. We keep the unity of the spirit. Humility shall reign here. Oh, say humility, say patience, say gentleness, say goodness, say love, say peace shall reign in the faith life church. So we see it rain. 
say I proclaim humility, patience on my life. Say I speak patience in this church. There shall not be any division. There shall not be any disunity among us as a church in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. So we grow, we all grow together in maturity to the full stature of Christ. Mazokada, Alebria Kato, Arebete Katwanda, Azende Rebedeka, Aromataya Kata, as we keep the peace. As we keep the unity of the spirit, as we walk in peace, as we walk in the kindness of God, as we walk in the goodness of God, as we humble ourselves and we are patient with one another, the Lord said we will grow. How we will grow in that maturity, in that stature of the fullness of Christ. Proverbs chapter 17 verse 14. Look at this. In a CSB scripture. It said to start a conflict is to release a flood. Stop the dispute before it breaks out. Say every division. You spirit of division. Spirit of by biting. Spirit of anger. Spirit of hatred. Spirit of convertiousness. You see, convertiousness is, is one great sin in the church. Hallelujah. I'm not talking about this church. I'm talking about the body of Christ. Amen. Where you, you want to compare yourself to somebody by force. You are being convertious. The only way, the only time God gave the church to be convertious is prophecy. So when you see the man of God is prophesying, he said, convert that gift convert the gift of the prophet. Amen. Every other way you convert is sin. Say it is sin. Say tonight deliver me. Oh love even as you pray say deliver me. Say deliver me. We stop every dispute. So we speak to every hatred, every evil, every envy. We stop you in any heart. You are uprooted. Tonight, we uproot you by the word of God in the name of Jesus. We command the spirit of gentleness, the spirit of goodness, the spirit of humility, the spirit of patience to fill our heart, the spirit of kindness how to fill our heart in the name of Jesus. Do you believe, do you believe in what you are praying? Say, I believe it. Say, I possess kindness. Her gentleness. I want to be gentle in nature and in spirit. Father, make me gentle. Make me gentle. My God, make him gentle. Robabo Salimaha. Hakadele Mraskia. He said, Ask God for grace to live above every carnal desire. Hey. Carnal desire. He said, you must pray and ask God for grace. Say, I'm asking grace. In every area of my soul. You see, you need it in your soul. Because that's where the, the, the carnal desire starts from. Before it comes into the body. Hallelujah. And fleshly lust, that weakens our spiritual effectiveness. Once you are living in sin, spiritually you are weak. Hallelujah. You are ineffective. Amen. That's what the scripture says that you need more strength on the axe to cut the wood because it is browned. So once you are living in sin, that axe cannot cut. But it is not your story. Say, it is not my story. Say, every kind of desire, every lust in me, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, the pride of life, out now. Now, I lose you. I lose myself from any lust in my soul. I lose it. I curse you. Die. Bible says, it's a kill the kind. It's a kill your flesh. It's a put it to death. Hallelujah. It's a, it's a put on Christ. It's a, that old nature. See the way you used to talk. 
He said, he said, he said, what is, have you heard? Have you heard? That sister, and see, you, you look, do as if you are seeing her, that girl. That's the kind of way now. If you are not bold to tell the person in the face, you are gossiping. You are gossiping. Hallelujah. Say, I lose myself from the spirit of gossip. Say, I lose myself from any kind of mentality. Anything that has filled my heart. Now, for those that watch prone, those that engage themselves in masturbation, it's sin. Say, I lose myself from every form of watching pornography. Now, I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. I curse it. In the name of Jesus, I put to death every desire in my flesh that weakens me spiritually. I put to death. I kill it in my body. I kill it now in the name of Jesus. The pride of life. They are so you are proud. They say, poor people are so proud. I heard that from, from Bishop Danka, ask Bishop Danka William. He said, the poor are always proud. Very, very proud. Ah! How did they say proud in three? Ahuma. Ahuma. If you look at the word, say Ahuma. That means that the word is going up. Hallelujah. Say, so, Lord, deliver me from pride. You know, you know, pride comes to people easily when they never thought they would be rich and suddenly they entered into wealth. They begin to look at every other person as nothing. It's pride. Say, deliver me. Maybe you are not at that stage. Maybe there are some monies you've never handled in your life, so you don't know. Are you getting it? So you may, oh, this first half of that one is not my problem. Ah, pride. No, I, I don't even see it. Okay, let's give you some 100,000 Ghana CD. And say, and, and, and we say, you just spend it in a week or in a day. When you go even to the shop, to the supermarket to go and buy things, even when you are paying the way you even look at the cashier for her to know you have the money, that's pride. Hallelujah. Say pride. Say deliver me from pride. So we are praying for brotherly love to continue as at Faith Life Church. That corporately the spirit of God will supply strength to each one of us. Break individual limitations and supply victory to us. To let us come again the spirit of envy, strife, division and gossip. Begin to pray right now. Let me hear you pray. I intentionally just stopped. Let me, I want to hear you pray. I want to hear you pray. Brotherly love. Let brotherly love and sisterly love continue. Among us. Maybe you have a lot of shoes in your house and you don't even know where to pack them and somebody needs those shoes. Carry those shoes and sow them as a seed in somebody's life. Sometimes we say, hey, if I go and give this thing and the person rejects it. No. You don't know what. Somebody needs that thing. That shoe, somebody needs it. That dress, somebody needs it. Let brotherly love continue. Let it continue. Lift up your hands. We can't finish all. I want you to pray a very important prayer for the man of God. I want to pray for the servant of God and the wife and their children. Hallelujah. You realize every time I'm praying for or ask the church to pray for them, I always, I don't say they are son. I say they are children. Hallelujah. Because once we all are connected to them, we have become by virtue of that spiritual structure their children. Lift your hands up. One of the errors of a church is not to pray for her pastor. 
call his name. Call the wife's name. I want to hear you call his name. Call his name. Call his name. Say, Lord, I bring him to you. I bring him. I bring him before your throne. That you deliver him, you protect him. The plots of the wicked. Plot simply means something that has been planned by a group of people to harm. The plots of the wicked one. Conspiracies. Every device that the enemy is busily plotting in the spirit realm against them, Lord. Let it not prosper. 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 Let God deliver him. Let God exalt him. Above only. Above only. Above only. Above the conspiracies. Above the evil. Above the adversary. Above everything the enemy has said to do. Above. Call somebody sign. Call somebody sign. So we agree tonight concerning our man of God that he will not die. He will not be cut short. Sudden death shall be far from him. The arrows of darkness shall be far from his household. In the name of Jesus. We agree tonight that he's lifted. His horns is exalted above the powers, principalities, authorities, rulers in the dark well. In the name of Jesus, we lift him above the star gazes, as shown noises. We lift him above those that read palms and read stars and read bombs and read rivers we lift them above only those that stand in the junction and speak we declare every word those speak shall not prosper it shall not prosper against the wife against their children against the servant of God in the name of Jesus above only above only anoint him with fresh oil anoint him continually in the name of Jesus do you believe in what you are praying do you believe in it say satanic agents that have been assigned against our servant of God satanic high priest from which over all caught well you are of darkness. Let light come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise. We thank you. Put those hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you just lift your voice in this room? Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the name of the Lord. And you want to just lift your voice and fill this room with worship right now. Wherever you are, if you are in this room, if you are online, YouTube, Facebook, you want to just connect your heart, connect your mind, and lift up your voice and lift up your hands and begin to bless the name of the Lord Jesus in this place. Lift his name high for he is good and he is mighty and he is supposed to be exalted. The psalmist said in Psalm 13 verse 6, it says, I will sing to the Lord for he has dealt with me bountifully. It says, I will sing to the Lord for he has done me well. You want to, if the Lord has done you well this evening, you want to say thank you, Jesus. You want to bless him with the fruits of your lips. You want to give him every praise that is due him tonight. You want to lift up your voice and lift up your hands. Even before a song comes, you just want to bless him with that song that he has placed on your heart, with that song that he has placed on your mind, that song that is bringing in your spirit. You want to just release it onto him tonight. And you are saying that blessed be the name of the Lord.
Lord. Father, you are worthy of every praise. You are worthy of every praise. You are worthy of every praise. We bless your holy name tonight. We lift your name on high. We lift your name on high. We lift your name on high. There is nobody like you, Jesus. And so every tongue in this place lifts your name on high. We exalt your holy name. We exalt your holy name. To you be every glory and every power and every honor. It all belongs to you, Jesus. It all belongs to you, Jesus. Every tongue in heaven and earth shall declare your glory. Every knee shall bow on your throne. In worship you be exalted.
Wherever you are, raise your hands to heaven. tonight that tonight God will visit you tonight God will change your story tonight God will bring transformation to your life tonight you will have an encounter with Jesus tonight the name of the Lord will be glorified in the name of the Lord Jesus thank you Holy Spirit thank you Lord Jesus everybody pray God this is my night. God, visit my life. God, I need an encounter. God, I need a change of level. I have struggled. I need a shift. I have struggled. I need an encounter. I have struggled. I need a visitation. I have struggled. Let there be a shift. I have struggled. Lord, let this be my night. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Take your seat in God's presence. Everybody take your seat. Take your seat. Take your seat. Very important. Young lady, come here.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Tonight is not like every other night. Tonight is that night where things shift and things change in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I said tonight is what? It is that night. Somebody say it is that night. One more time. Somebody say it is that night. One more time. See, it is that night. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Praise the Lord. I'd like you to touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, get ready. One more time, say, neighbor, neighbor. Get, ready. get ready. God is about to do an awesome work with you. God is about to do a new thing with your life. Touch another person and say, neighbor, neighbor. it's good, it's good to come into God's presence. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So what's, what's going on here? Is there an offside trap? Please, come for it. Come feel the... I don't know why you would like to leave seats in front. Amen. Amen. Tonight is going to be a different night. It's a different night because... Give me Mark 11. Mark chapter 4, verse 11. Please let me have the tissue. Mark 4. And he said unto them... Unto you is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. But unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. Why is this place so hot? What's going on? They didn't put on the AC celly. So what is happening? Are there windows that are open? The room is extremely, extremely hot. Hallelujah. Someone say mystery. mystery. One more time say mystery. mystery. And tonight I want to deal with the mystery of the anointing oil. The mystery of the anointing oil. You see, a mystery can be defined as a kingdom treasure that's only accessible to the redeemed. A mystery is what? A kingdom treasure that is only accessible to who? The redeemed. What does it mean? It means that when you become a Christian, God unveils to you secrets that will change your life forever. I have a number of questions, and I want to ask you a few questions. Why would God Almighty, with all that God does, when he was about to, to anoint Aaron, when he was about to set Aaron apart to be a high priest, would now say to Moses that this is the way you must, you must fix the holy anointing oil. He says, by these ingredients, you must set this person apart. Why? Why? Why did God say, before I can come and visit the people, they must be anointed? He says, anoint the furnishings of the temple, anoint the tabernacle, that in this place I will meet with you. Why? That's a question I want to ask you. Someone say the mystery. One more time, somebody shout the mystery. You see, the world have their own mysteries. In fact, recently I was doing some research and I discovered that a lot of people use ancient writings. They use metaphysical writings. And by these, they conjure magic. Even magic, they are books of magic. Now look at me, everybody. What it means is that knowledge is powerful. Sir, 
when a hidden secret is unveiled, it is unveiled because some new outcomes must be involved. Are we, are we together in this place? But as believers, we don't go out there looking for mystical portions to conjure things. But if the thing is written in the Bible, then we will use it. Praise the Lord, somebody. Are we together in this place? No, you are not here. Yeah, I'm not. Looks like even my phone is not opening. Today I will know how to use this, this thing on my phone. It will help me. A mystery, please write this down, can be defined as a divine secret embedded within the pages of scripture. Give me Ephesians chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 1 to 5. For this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ for you Gentiles, if you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, Lord, how that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby when you read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ. Paul is saying that even me, Paul, I have a, a, there's a mystery. Somebody say mystery. There is something about me that people don't know. But this thing, God revealed it to me. It's about the mystery of Christ. Christ means the anointed. And he's anointed. There's something about the anointed that I've come into for which I am gaining mastery over. Child of God, listen to me. Every one of us, there is something about our life that will give us an unfair advantage in life. You can go through life and struggle, or you can go through life and have an advantage. All depends on what you know. They used to say, as poor as the church mouse, until some of the faith fathers began to understand that the will of God is for us to prosper. And so they began to talk to us about vision based on the scripture. Write the vision, make it plain that he may run the resources for the vision is yet for an appointed time that though he tarries, wait for it. When we come into a scripture that the diligent soul shall be made fat. So we began to teach people to be diligent with their works. We began to talk about discovering your gift sets. Someone say mystery. Once that mystery was revealed, it says, see as that a man skillful in his works. He shall not stand before mere men. He shall stand before kings. We came into a scripture that says that the race of life is not to the swift. Neither is the battle to the strong. Nor favor to men of skill. So the church began to teach his people that we need to be skillful in the delivery of our task. So that we will come into favor. And so when we began to do that, the church began to prosper. And when the church began to prosper, now those who used to insult us, they began to change their mind about us. Because a mystery has been unveiled. Someone say mystery is unveiled. Can I preach? Can I preach in this place? Very, 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 very important. And so discovering mysteries is very important to the growth of every Christian. Or else you go through life and struggle all the days of your life. You go through life and, and, and would not know how to break barriers and take over territories. But tonight, one of the great mysteries of the kingdom is the mystery of the anointing oil. And I came to teach you on this great mystery. Someone say, someone say the great mystery. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Give me John chapter 13, verse 9 to 11. John chapter 13. Now let's, let's, let's go before this time. Go to John chapter 13. Give me verse number 6. Give me verse 6. No, let's, okay, let's, let's start from 13 from verse 1 so that I can. This, this, 13. He says, now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. Look at the next verse. 
And supper be ended, the devil having now put into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son to betray him. Jesus, knowing that the father had given all things into his hands. So Jesus did not wash the feet of the people until he knew that I have received everything. Tonight, eh? We will anoint everybody's feet in this church. I was thinking of my carpet, but I'll do it. So, we will anoint everybody's feet in this, in, in this way. The Bible says when Jesus discovered that the Father has placed everything into his hands. So, until this time, why didn't he do it? You need to understand some major, major secrets in scripture. Am I communicating at all, sir? Now look at it. A lady came and poured alabaster oil under the feet of Jesus. <laughs> and Jesus said this to them, that permit this woman for what she has done is for the preservation. The next thing we hear, Jesus says to them, go. And let's do the last supper. And the next thing, Jesus, now knowing that the Father has given it to him. So the oil was first poured under his feet. And then when he knew that he had received it, he said, let me show you a mystery. I will wash your feet. <laughs> I will wash your... Because every organ in everybody's body, where is it? So Jesus... <laughs> Give me the scripture, please. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And Jesus, knowing that the Father had given him all things into his hands, and that he was come from God, went to God. Next verse. He rised from supper and laid aside his garment, and took a towel and gathered himself, and after that he poured water into a basin, and began to wash the disciples' feet, and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was gathered. Next verse. Then came he to Simon Peter, and Peter said unto him, Lord, dost thou wash my feet? Jesus answered and said unto him, What I do, thou knowest not now, but thou shalt know hereafter. Jesus says, That which I'm, I'm doing for you, you have no clue. But a time is coming, you will know the meaning of this mystery. That's right. Peter said unto him, Thou shalt never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, If I wash thee not, thou hast no part with me. In other words, there's a part of you that I still have. Until I wash your feet, I cannot release that part to you. If I don't do it for you, you have no part in me. Sir, look at what Jesus said. If I don't do this thing for you, you would not have a stake and access in me. You have no part. If you don't let me do this for you, you will not have a stake. What is Jesus trying to say? He's trying to say to you, brother, he's trying to say to his sister, that there is a dimension of God that changes the destiny of a man. That except the oil comes under your feet. There are certain things about God you will never access. Are we together in this place? See, the anointing oil is a strength thing. It's a strength thing. I say it's a what? It's a strength thing. It's a strength thing. David said, Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow. In other words, once the oil comes on your head, evil cannot come near you. my father's in the faith. When you do mistake and he carries it, oil, he understands oil like the other, and he pours it, he will scatter your life. Yeah, I can scatter your life. I try not to do it, but I know. Because some of us, we came from I worship home. Don't try. I think when people see me, I'm there nicely, very collected, dressed well. Brother, don't make a mistake. Don't make a mistake. Someone say the oil. One more time. Someone say the oil. Someone say the oil. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 3. Second Peter 1 verse 3. He says, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that called us to glory and virtue. Jesus called us to glory and virtue and yet what did he give us? He washed the feet of the people. The Bible says when he knew that the father has given all things, he rose up. So until... <laughs> And he's telling us he's giving us glory and virtue. You see, Jesus gave us seven things. He gave us what? Yeah, he gave us what? Yeah, give me Revelation chapter 5 verse number 12. Sevenfold things Christ gave us. He says, worthy is the lamb that was slain to receive number one, power. Someone say power. Number two, riches. Now, everybody look at the screen. Why does the Bible bring power first before it brings riches and wealth? Because power is the ability to act. Until you have dominion over a ground, you cannot secure riches. Sir, look at it. He says, once you have secured the riches, what you need next is wisdom to manage the riches that has come. Are you writing it down? So, number one, you need power, which is the ability to act. Number two, what do you need? You need riches. Once you have the power, once you have, you have mastery, control over a territory, riches will begin to come to you. But once the riches starts coming, you need wisdom to manage the wealth that has come. He says, once you have the wisdom, you need strength. You need what? The scripture says, wisdom is the principal thing, but in order to get in, Get understanding. So strength is what you gain once you have received understanding. Someone says strength. Yeah. Other translation says might or dominion. What does it bring? Once you have received the strength, what the strength produce? In other words, strength here means sustained glory, sustained honor, sustained increase, sustained impact. So, there are some people that they get blessings one day, one off, and then they are gone. But there's what is called sustained. Someone say sustained. Someone say sustained. Hallelujah. And then he says, honor. Once you can sustain your wealth, once you can sustain your riches based on wisdom, he says that what it begins to come to you is honor. Sir, see, there are people who have money, but they don't have honor. But there are those who have honor. And when you have honor, you don't need money. One day somebody came to see me. I was asking me, Pastor, you are very rich. I said, you see, your problem is you think that wealth is in money. I said, I don't have money. If you ask me money now, I don't have some in my pocket. But I have people who have money. So when I need anything, I don't need money to purchase it. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, so a friend of mine, he was walking with me. So one day he was hungry after I shared it. Then I said, okay, let's go to a restaurant. So we went to a restaurant to go and eat. So as we were sitting, I told him that I don't have any money in my pocket. I don't have anything. So he asked me a question. He said, so if you don't have money, why do you bring me to a restaurant? I said, because I know somebody who has money to pay. I said, that is what is called wealth. I don't have to have money. I just have to know somebody who has money to pay. So when we finished eating, I just did a text message to somebody. I said, pay this account, this money. They pay their money. He said, so we have breast, we have breast, we have breast. I said, the difference between me and you is you are praying that God should put money in your pocket. I have prayed that God will bring me people who have what it takes for what I need. So when I need painting, I don't need to go and buy a paint. I can call somebody and say, Charlie, my uncle and me painting, mama, and they will paint and I don't have to pay. I'm not communicating at all. That is a dimension of honor. It came because of honor. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't need to... Get money to go and buy clothes. I call Pastor Victor. I need. I'm traveling tomorrow. Give me two shares. Two African wear. Guess what? I don't pay. It will be delivered. When it is time to pay, I tell somebody that sort us out. 
Someone say wealth. It comes, you see, because I carry honor. I have to just desire, mm, God, if I get a new pair of my life, somebody will bless me with it. Someone say honor. Am I communicating at all? Last one. Put it there. Put it there. You see, so when we anoint your feet this year, we are repositioning your destiny from a place of struggle to the place of honor where the things that you need, you are attracted. He says, and glory and blessing. All these seven comes to you. It's not just glory. See, some of us, we can just wear a common pose. But the way we will shudder it, when you think you think it is. See, I've come to know that this life is not fair. When you don't have money, you wear branded clothes. The day you, when you become very wealthy, what do rich people wear? They wear non-branded clothes. They wear t-shirt. And people call them that they have, he's very humble. He's very humble. Though. He's very, very humble. Ah. Sir, have you seen him? He was just wearing Lacoste. <laughs> when you don't have money and you wear it, they say you are not very well dressed. Ah, you just wore Lacoste and T-shirt to come for a meeting? No, go and wear a suit. Ne show the wa unika no show the yes koshe suit. Ni po oska no no she T-shirt. That's the difference between glory and blessing. I speak over somebody's life. After this anointing service. Every yoke of darkness over your life will be broken. Amen. Wherever your feet are stepping, for which they have marked you that you, this is who you are, your feet will be anointed and you will step into new places. It was Job who said, I long for days gone by. When by his light I walk through darkness. He says, I, I, when I anointed my feet with butter, the rocks poured me out rivers of oil. Tonight you will anoint your feet. Every difficult situation will begin to produce unusual results for you. Yeah. Am I communicating at, at all? I said it will do all, it will produce all unusual. So I say unusual results. You see, tonight, every misfortune will be washed away from your life. Amen. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 33, verse 24 to 25. He said, And let Asha be blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren. And let him dip his foot in oil. Somebody look at it. Look at what he's saying. He said, Asha will be blessed with children. He will be acceptable by his brethren. Why? Let him dip his foot in oil. Let him dip his foot what? Sir. So, wherever you've been that you have not been accepted from tonight, ah, see, they will accept you. Amen. I said, God will bring you children. Amen. You see, when we say children, it's not just biological children. But there are things you can produce from which you will eat from. I pray for somebody tonight. Your feet will be dipped in oil. Somebody shout, my feet will be dipped in oil. Someone say, my feet will be dipped in oil. One more time, shout, my feet will be dipped in oil. You see, there are some people that all the days of their life, they go through struggles, they go through challenges, they go through emotional issues. John chapter 20, verse 21. After this oil. John chapter 20, verse 21. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, even so send I you. So whatever the Father did not permit to happen in the life of Jesus, it will not be, it will not be permitted to happen in your life. Whatever he did not permit to happen, it will not happen in your life. Whatever did not happen, see, there are many people they go through life and they struggle. But after tonight's service, whatever you are not permitted to experience, it will not happen to you. The scripture says, darkness shall not come near your dwelling. After tonight, whatever has been a form of darkness against your life, against your family, against the works of your hands, in the name of Jesus, I command that it shall be far away from you. Yeah. Ah, if darkness does not prevail against Jesus, darkness will not prevail against you. Yeah. There was a conspiracy against Jesus' life. The guy who saw Jesus... For his destruction, he died 
before Jesus died. I decree over your life. Anybody that will rise up for your destruction, they die before your time. Amen. Shout amen. amen. Sir, let me tell you something. The anointing is a strange thing. The Bible says that the yoke are destroyed by reason of the anointing. See, tonight, eh, I want to plug your feet into a certain spiritual mystery. That when you step into this oil, when you step into this oil, wherever you went that they rejected you from today, when you step there, they will accept you. Yeah. 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 Huh. See, let me tell you something. We all know the same. Book. I said what? When Saul died, David asked a question. He said, how did he die as if he was not anointed? How did he die as if he was not anointed with oil? He means that when a man is anointed with oil, and he knows he's anointed, he cannot just die any form of it. That's why no matter the conspiracy that came against David, nobody could kill him until it was his time. He died a good old age. I speak over your life. After tonight, see, whatever conspiracy of hell against you, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. You will die a good old age. Somebody shout, I will die a good old age. Whatever has fought against your destiny, fought against your lifting, fought against your transformation, I decree in the name of Jesus, there shall be a turn around. I said there shall be a turn around. I said there shall be a turn around. I said there shall be a turn around. Shout amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Let me conclude this thing and then we will, we will lift our prayer. Second Corinthians chapter have I, I, I quoted 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9? Give me 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. This is God's scripture. Huh. That because Jesus, although he was rich and became poor, you through, through his poverty, you might be what? Ah. Rich is rich. Someone say, I am coming into it. Say, every financial misfortune in my life, it gives way tonight. Say, I experience grace for supernatural breakthroughs. Say, as my feet touches the oil, I'm getting out of here and walking into new realms of breakthroughs. Say, I'm walking into new realms of fulfillment. Say, I will be fruitful. I cannot be fruitless. So, sorry. I, and I, no, no, no. No, no, no. Is it correct? Yeah. It's correct. Yeah. I cannot be fruitless. Never, ever, ever in my life. When your feet is anointed tonight. Ha! Ha! You are washing your feet in, in the oil. The butter is oil. As you wash your feet in that oil, ah, you are stepping into a new season, sister. Any curse that has run through your bloodlines, after tonight that curse is reversed. By reason of the anointed. Somebody say, by reason of the anointed. One more time, say, by reason of the anointed. Ah. Someone say, ah. Someone say the anointing. You see, the primary purpose of the anointing is first to sanctify. It means to set the anointed person or the object apart as holy. Tonight, when the oil touches your leg, you are being set apart from every calamity. You are being set apart from every difficulty. You are being set apart from every challenge. Somebody shout, I am being set apart. In the name of the Lord Jesus. One more time, somebody say, I'm being set apart. You see, the anointing oil is the instrument of instant interventions. First Samuel chapter 10, verse number 2. Give me 1 Samuel chapter 10, verse 2. 
And verse 9, are you okay? You'll be fine. You'll be fine. When thou art depart from me today, thou shalt find two men by Rachel's sepulchre. Remember, Samuel had already poured the oil on Saul's head. When the oil came on his head, he says, When thou art departed from me today, thou shalt find two men by Rachel's sepulchre. Rachel's sepulchre is Rachel's tomb. In the place of death, you will find two men. He says, Ah, in the border of Benjamin at Zelza, and they will say unto thee, The asses which thou wentest to seek are found. In the place of death, whatever is lost, you will find it. Where men thought that you would die, where they thought calamity will befall you, where they thought challenges will befall you, he said, In that same place, God will send you divine help. And by this help, ah, shakatakata. He said, When they find you, they will help you. I decree over your life, whatever the enemy has planned, in that same place, the Lord will send you help. I said, The Lord will send you help. The Lord will send you help. Somebody shout, The Lord will send me help. Someone say, the Lord will send me help. Ah, Give me the scripture. It says, the asses which thou wentest to seek have found. And lo, thy father has left the care of the asses and sorrowed for you. See, in that very place, the death situation, at Rachel's sepulchre, you know what he said? He says, in that same place, your father who was, who chose other things, will now forget about the things he chose and will remember you. From tonight, may your remembrance be released. Amen. After this oil, may your remembrance be released. Amen. I said, the Lord will remember you tonight. Amen. One more time, the Lord will remember you tonight. Amen. For the last time, the Lord will remember you tonight. Amen. Somebody say, I shall be remembered. Verse number 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. Verse 9. He says, and it was so that when he had turned his back to go from Samuel, God gave him another heart. And all those signs came to pass. After tonight, God will give you a new heart. Amen. I said, tonight you will change into a better person. Amen. Whatever it is that has been a hold over you, you will change. Amen. Somebody shout, I will change that. So I said, the hold of darkness is broken from my life. In the name of Jesus. And many of us, that's our problem. We, 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 we don't know how to access grace by the oil. Hmm. Sir, one of my friends, they went somewhere. They went to, they were starting a church in Medina area. Then they saw a land. They just carried oil poured the oil on the ground and anointed their feet and walked over that ground and took possession of it. It did not take long. They sold the land to them. Someone say oil. oil. Once the oil comes on your head, you will begin to possess things. Amen. After tonight, somebody will possess things. Amen. After tonight, whatever is not from Christ will leave your body. Amen. Somebody say, I shall, be I shall be released. Someone say, I shall be released. I want to end quickly and then we'll go. The second thing that the anointing does, the anointing triggers supernatural change of story. Someone say supernatural change of story. First Samuel chapter 10, give me verse number 6. First Samuel chapter 10, verse 6. And the spirit of the Lord will come upon thee, and thou shalt prophesy with them, and thou shalt be turned into another man. Look at me. I say you what? You will turn into what? Another man. After tonight, you will turn into what? Another man. You will turn into what? Another man. I speak over somebody's life. After tonight, you will turn into another man. After tonight, you do what? You will turn into another man. After tonight, you will turn into another woman. After tonight, you will turn into another man. Somebody shout, I shall be turned into another man. Whatever has possessed your destiny, you will be turned into another man. Somebody shout, we shall be turned. For the last time, shout, we shall be turned. None of us will leave this place. You came here looking for the fruit of the womb. You are going home 
with a visitation. You came here trusting God for a healing, you are going with a healing. You came here believing God for a life partner, God is doing it. You came here believing God for a breakthrough, that breakthrough is happening. Whatever you are trusting God for, God will do it for you. Shout and receive it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The last thing. The anointing releases divine favor. It does what? It releases what? Give me Psalm 45, verse 7, verse 8, and verse 12. Psalm 45, verse 7, 8, and 12. He says, Thou lovest righteousness and hatest wickedness. Therefore, God thy God has anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. There's an oil called the oil of gladness. There's an oil. See, I speak over your life. After tonight, God will anoint you with the oil of gladness. Wherever you go, glad tidings will come to you. Wherever you go, people will favor you. Wherever you go, people will honor you. Wherever you go, help will come your way. Shout and receive it. Yeah, yeah. Next verse. Yeah. He says, and all thy garments smell of mare and aloes and cassia out of the ivory places whereby they have made thee glad. He says from today, the smell of you, the fragrance of you is different. You are coming from places of honor, places of preservation. When you show up, every smell of you is a smell of honor and glory. He says, this smell will make you glad. It will not bring sorrow. It will make you glad. Someone say, it will make me glad. And the daughter of... Tira shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. After this anointing. See, rich people will find me. Want it. Me say that rich people will find me. Sister, rich people will find you. Amen. Brother, rich people will find you. Amen. See, see, there are people that people find them. I remember many years ago I was having a conversation with a man. There was a change of government. A new government had come into power. Yet, rich people were looking for a man. The government has sent a delegation to look for a man. See, rich people will find you. Amen. One of my, my friends in, who works in the bank, the brother was not in Ghana when MPP won power. Yet, they were looking for him to come down and come and work. I pray for you in this place. After tonight, rich people will find you. Amen. Someone say, rich people will find me. For the last time, somebody shout, rich people will find me. Find One more time, shout, rich people will find me. Do you know some of us, it's only poor people who find us. Ah, every day they are calling you. Please, can you send me? This week, this week I have a very interesting story. Somebody called me. Pastor, how are you? I said, I'm fine. So, please, um, can you send me some 200 grand? Honest, honest. I didn't even have handed. So, he said, if you, he said, he said, if you can send me maybe some 500, or, but if I can't even get 500, you can send me 200 Ghana. Uh, I'll, I'll I was working with about two people. I didn't have 200. They didn't have 200. Ah, God. Let rich people find me. Lay your hand on yourself and say, Lord, let rich people find me. Do you know some of us, the moment we take, we, uh, our salary comes, I don't know whether there's some intercom that sends signal to people. Rich people. <laughs> what, what, what I'm saying, is it the truth or is it a lie? How many of you know that? The moment small money comes, that's why they'll call you from the village. They'll call you from this place. Hey, hey, you know, Kwame, I need money. I remember my son, Sawanu, when he came from China to Ghana, he said, all of a sudden, he looks at Everybody who was calling me needed money. Please, can you send me 100 cities? Can you send me 150? Our classmates were calling him. I pray for somebody. After this anointing, rich people will find you. Yeah. You, didn't, you didn't come to church. I said, after this anointing, rich people will find you. Yeah. Somebody said, rich people will find me. Yeah. One of them was paid 14. One of the most painful things is to be in a place where you are in lack. And you don't know who to call. Maybe I order. Hey. You have checked your house. All the coins is finished. <laughs> but can you imagine being in that state? Then somebody will call you and say, ah, I just thought about you. I think I should send you some money. 
Someone say, rich people will find me. Rich people will find me. Scripture. Give me the scripture. He says, the daughter of Tira will find you. Ah, may, may rich people's daughters find you. Yeah. It's not, may rich people's sons find you. Yeah. You know, I, I know of a, a drama in my former church. He married a girl. Brother, no, nya When you marry rich people's children, it's very nice. So, so I mean, I've told Barry Mao. You must only marry a rich person's child. Charlie, Papa, they will bring the soup. Ah, palm no soup. You know the zoo soup one, the one that everything is inside. So they'll bring soup, they'll bring light soup, palm no soup, they'll bring stew, and they'll put in the fridge. They are bringing food. Hey, God, let rich people find me. Because you can go through life. Only you, the one one woman you've gone to marry, her whole family poverty is the one you are managing. Father, pray for somebody in this place. May rich people find you. May rich people's daughters find you. May rich people's children find you. May their sons find you. Shut and receive it. There are some family when you marry into, you are sorted. Both sexes, sir. I've seen things, though. I've seen things. Remember when you marry into their family? Ah, I remember some man of God being in this nation. A guy found the daughter. The daughter was interested in the guy, so the guy proposed. Uh, do you know what they asked the guy to bring on the wedding day? Bible. Only. They tell you show up. In this hotel on Saturday, everything is taken care of. Ah, sir. Child! Just bring Bible. And if you have money, maybe buy the ring. Yeah, if you don't have money, you just come. Every wedding and none of it all. Everything was provided for when he married the lady. Their wedding gift was a house in airport. Ha! Hey! Let rich people find me! Let them find my daughters. Let them find my sons. Somebody shout, let the rich people find me. Sister, I dear have who was as you soon say, Obe, what a baby, now name the Obe. Where? I can testify you. When, when, when rich people find you, you don't struggle. When rich people find you. You know, I've been married to Lady Irene for how many years? Over 11 years now. Yeah. You see, the things you people struggle that I fear so I have to buy something for my in-laws. You know, I've never done something before. Marry into a rich home, la. <laughs> so, Mama said, I lay my hand upon somebody by faith. May rich people's sons and daughters find you. May people find you and give you gifts. Yeah. May people find you and bless you. May people find you and give you uncommon opportunities. Somebody shout, I shall be found. Shall be found. By reason of this anointing, I shall be found. And when they find me, they will favor me. And when they find me, they will bring me gifts. Somebody shout, I shall be found. Shall be found. By reason of this anointing. It's okay. Now, everybody. Mary. Someone say, Mary. Where is my? Wherever you are likely to stand on your feet, you are going to pray. Stand on your feet. Everybody, you are going to pray. You are going to pray in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray. God, sanctify me. If I have sinned against you, forgive me of all my sins. Sanctify me. The anointing cannot come on a person who is not holy. 
You want to pray and ask that the Lord will sanctify you by his spirit. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Katusifili inamosia. Anon tono no 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 sia. Rakatalia toshkepa. Haram palianda. We declare this the holy anointing oil. Rapa loko fene koshke. Atuma ni ne ne no se. brosha. Rakatalia telebrosa. We declare this the holy anointing oil. We declare this the holy anointing oil. We declare this the holy anointing oil. Rakata brontoriandes. As this oil touches our feet, Lord, we step into new season. We step into new oils. We step into the abundance of God's goodness. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Kontolobro sibriatas. Shakata kalariandas. Somebody pray. Rakataliados. Father God, Galariandas, we activate supernatural. Let healings. Every organ is healed as our feet touches it. Every calamity that has been following us tonight, we disconnect from it. Tonight, we disconnect from it. Everybody pray. Come on, lift up prayer in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth and pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody open up your mouth. Lift up your voice. Heavenly Father. We activate the power of Christ. By this we break the holds of darkness. By this we break every demonic entanglement and every hold of darkness. We decree and declare the hold of darkness is broken. But thou, O Lord, art the shield for me. You are my glory and the lifter of my head. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. As we anoint our feet with oil. Lord, we invoke the power. We invoke the spirit. We invoke the anointing. We break every hold of darkness. Whatever has been an entanglement against any life, against any destiny, it is broken in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray that this year you will escape death. This year you will escape calamity. This year evil will be far away from you. Somebody open up your mouth and pray. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. Somebody cry unto God and say, my father, my God, in the name that is above every other name, we invoke the power of the resurrected Christ. We activate the presence of God over this place. In Tanamaho Yantonias, Repalakatuskepaya. Hey, Shabaroske Riandoske, Imantalia Dolabro Cabras, Harapaliatas, Harapariatas, Ele Calarias, Mantalianas, Mantoloria. We activate angelic assistance all over this place. Angels with flaming salt, angels with drawn salt. We activate the mantles of this house. Rakatos keparias, in tanamahaliados, mataliados kepas, in rampaliados, ajan kalarias, arampaliados. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Okay, come in. You step in. You go. Rakatalias. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody come. Dip your feet in the oil. You dip your feet in oil. He said, Asa would dip his feet in oil. 
you receive divine acceptance receive it somebody pray somebody pray right now wherever you are I'd like you to pray you receive divine assistance in the name of the Lord Jesus Makotoshka Parias Rapa Parias in Kalararias Makotoshadas in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Rakatalias my God Lokotosotos Shibadabadabadabash Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Raparia toske parias. Everybody, everybody, quickly, quickly. Katoske pa. Rakatali andolo broshanda. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Keba da ba da ba da ba da ba. Rakatali andala brasha. Rakatali andala brasha. Harapari and Koriandasa, Harampari and Dela Broshanda, Harampari and Dele Brosha. Somebody open up your mouth and pray. Harakatali and Tola Brosha, Harapari and Tala Brosha, Helekalari and Tola Brosha, Harapari and Tala Brosha. Somebody open up your mouth and pray. Lekalari and Tola Brosha, Rapaba, as you dip your feet in oil, Harakataliata, the hand of God, the hand of Elohim. If you are not watching me live, wherever you are, just anoint your feet as you dip your feet in that oil. You can pour the oil a bit on the floor and step into that oil and begin to declare from this day. I enjoy divine acceptance I shall not be denied I shall not be denied I shall not be denied somebody open up your mouth and pray somebody open up your mouth and pray somebody open up your mouth and pray I shall not be denied I shall not be denied I shall not be denied Rakatali and brosha those of you here go Shebarabrantorias Rakatali and those I shall not be denied my favor, my blessing, my honor, my glory, my integrity, my influence, my access. Rakatali and Dolobrosha. Somebody pray. Lord, I've stepped into a new oil. I've stepped into a new season. I've stepped into a new oil. By this oil, oh Lord. By this oil. Rakataya. My feet have been dipped in oil. According to the word of your servant, as I step into this oil, I am set apart for testimonies. I am set apart for glory I am set apart for favor I'm set apart for increase I'm set apart for honor I'm set apart for glory I'm set apart I'm set apart I'm set apart somebody open up your mouth and pray Rakatalia Bora Babasai somebody pray somebody pray somebody pray Rakatalia you say Heavenly Father as I step into this oil Lord the days of my struggle has come to an end the days of my liberation has come. The days of my testimony has come. In the name of Jesus, by this oil, the holds of darkness over my life is broken. By this oil, reproach, disappointment, and failure, struggles. Uh, it's over. 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 It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. Somebody pray. Kata Baruska, Leklandoska, Harampariana, Emparabrando, Harakatalia, Elebros Kata. Hey, 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 hey. Rakataliandosa, Harapaparian Talianda, Harapaparian Talabranda, Harapaparian Talabranda. Somebody open up your mouth. Somebody lift up your voice and pray. My Father, my God. My Father, my God. I activate the supernatural. I activate miracles over my life, over my destiny, over my finances, over my health. The Lakatoske Paria. By this oil, by this oil, I step into new season. I step into new glory. I step into new favor. My feet are anointed. From this day, I shall no more be rejected. From this day, I shall no more experience stagnation. I can only go forward in the name of Jesus. 
I receive speed. I receive speed. I receive growth. I receive access. The holds of darkness over my foundation are broken. The foundation that I come from, the, the generational cases are broken. By reason of the anointing, by reason of the common prayer. Harakatamo hoshada, harababari antalabosha, harakatali adosha. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Rakatandosha, 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 rakatandosha. Rakatandosha, Rakatandosha, Empire Gosha, Empire Gosha, Empress Kataya, Empress Kataya, Ompra Kotosko Tom Soton Tolobrata, Ekrandala Rianda, my Father, my God. After this anointing, the yoke of darkness is broken. After this anointing, the hold of darkness, the limitations of my life is broken. I step into new seasons of glory, new seasons of favor, new seasons of honor, new seasons of increase. I experience progress on every side. Progress on every side. Progress on every side. Somebody open up your mouth and pray. Shabara bara 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 after tonight, after tonight, Lokotosh Kaparia, Lokotosh Kaparia, somebody open up your mouth and pray. Asuka Tushe Berebia, Arakatalio Toria, Lekren Tolianda Labrasha, Rapaparian Talabros Kebaria, Aramparianda Labroshanda, Arampararianda Labroshanda, in Kalaralariande, Arapaparianda. I step into new season. I step into new season. Rakatalose Grando, E Rapaparianda Labrosha. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Have you done it? Are you bringing the children or not? Or should you just forget? Huh? Leave them in. If they don't come. Where is Mary Ma? Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. I say, Lord, let there be a visitation over my life, over my destiny. Let there be a visitation. Over my life, over my destiny, let there be a visitation. Over my life, over my destiny, let there be a visitation. Over my life, over my destiny, let there be a visitation. Karababariantas, Arakatomelias, Arababarias, 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 let there be a visitation. Over my life, over my destiny. Let there be a visitation. Let there be a visitation. Shebarariantala brosha. Katabaho setelias. Arapabaria kaliadas. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray tonight. My God, my Father. Change my story. Change my time. Change my story. Now, wherever you are, raise your hands. Raise your hands, everybody. Wherever you are, raise your hands above your head. Raise your hands above your head. Say, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the holes of darkness is broken. Say, whatever has tormented my life up until this day, I decree and declare the hold is broken. Say, the hold is broken. Say, in the name of Jesus, whatever has been a limitation, a hindrance to my prophetic destiny, the hold is broken. The hold is broken. The hold is broken. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. So shall it be.
So shall it be. Listen. That oil that has touched your feet is the oil of vengeance. After this oil, anybody that will rise up against your prophetic destiny, that person falls for your sake. Anybody that will rise up to harm you, that person falls for your sake. Evil will be far away from you. Shout and receive it. Shout and receive it. Shout and receive it. And so shall it be. Kindly take your seat in God's presence. Take your seat. Take your seat. Take your seat. Listen. You are here. You are not born again. You want to give your life to Christ. Whatever we have declared. This oil that has touched your feet. If you don't have a relationship with Christ. Or you used to be a Christian. But now you and God. You are no more fine. What we have declared will not work for you. I hear you want to give your life to Christ. Close their eyes. All eyes closed. You want to give your life to Jesus. Raise that hand up. Raise that hand up. Say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner. Come into my life. Forgive me of all my sins. I am sorry for the sins I've committed. This day, I receive you as my Lord and personal Savior. Thank you that my sins are forgiven and my name is written in the Lamb's book of life. Thank you that the blood of Jesus, it cleanses me from all unrighteousness. This day I am saved. Born again. I am now your child. In Jesus name. Amen. If you pray that prayer, your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. Your sins are forgiven. Hallelujah. Let's just take our offering. Please. I think we gave you. Uh, do you have envelopes? They didn't give you envelopes? Ah. Yes. Give everyone the envelope. Let's take our offering. Let's take our offering. Let's give, take our offering. And let's give. God is a good God. Let's give. Give generously. Listen to me. You know why I did this service, sir? I saw it yesterday in a vision. I saw when I was just about to end the service, I saw in a vision that I was doing this anointing for you. Well, I understand that uh, Miss Na, Hannah and, uh, and their colleagues are online watching us on, from Central University. We pray for all of you that the Lord will bless you, the Lord will visit you, the Lord will grace you, whatever it is that you are trusting God for. May God meet you at the point of your need. Let the yoke of darkness be broken from your life. And may the Lord turn things around favorably for you. Be visited by God. And everyone watching us in any nation of the world, we decree a supernatural visitation. By this oil, you have stepped into a new thing. A new blessing. A new honor. A new testimony. Somebody say, I receive it. Well, let's take our offering. Let's take our offering and leave. If you want to give a moment to you, can give it. Please just take our offering. Take the basket around. Let's take the offering. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to me. Oh. Oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to me. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Oh. Oh. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to Him. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Bless this seed that has been sown. Multiply it. Increase it for the work of God. In Jesus' name. Listen to me. Tomorrow evening is going to be serious. Tomorrow evening we're going to raise it up to the next level. Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, remember? Our guest prophet, Prophet Emmanuel Perry Apau is coming. Did I mean? <laughs> yeah. So remember, it's on Friday and Saturday.
two nights supernatural happenings and visitations come and receive an encounter with jesus i believe god that something unusual will happen to you this year you will prosper this year you will advance this year you will escape calamity this year the hand of god will come upon you somebody shout i will advance in the name of jesus please remember we are ending our fasting when saturday someone say saturday please don't miss it all 21 days after this thing you will see testimony anybody who would rise up that you will not have joy will die this year this year there's some catch them anybody that will rise up, that they will not let you have your peace of mind they will be in a position where they will lose their mind in the name of jesus god bless you enjoy the rest of your evening bye bye okay